Hey, I'm T-Ray. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to improve your Bejewel Blitz score by using a method I call Quadrant Theory. A lot of players get too focused on a particular section of the board. They'll make a match and then wait for the next set of gems to fall in the same spot before making the next match. Doing that can slow you down and make it easy to lose your Blazing Speed bonus. With Quadrant Theory, the idea is to divide the board into four distinct sections, like this. And then treat each quadrant as a separate piece of the game board. This will help you find matches quicker and keep you from getting too focused on a particular area of the game board. When you start practicing, turn off all your boosts and don't use any rare gems. That way you're not losing any coins. As soon as you click go, look for a match in the bottom two quadrants of the game board. Don't wait for the gems to finish their swap. As soon as you've made your move, start looking at a different section of the board. Keep moving between the quadrants as you make your matches and don't slow down. Over time, you'll find yourself playing the game faster and you won't be wasting time between matches. Try playing as many practice games as you like and track your score. As you play more, your score should improve and you can gain some coins just by playing. When you're ready to move into the big leagues, try starting out with a Moonstone gem and pick your boost. That way, you don't have to use a lot of coins. At the start of a Moonstone game, you should be able to at least detonate one star gem in the lower quadrants. When the game pauses to show the star gem explosion, it gives you a few seconds to look around for another match. If you keep practicing with Quadrant Theory, you'll find your scores improve over time, and you'll make it into the Blazing Speed bonus a whole lot easier. For more tips and tricks on Bejewel Blitz, please click the subscribe button. I'm T-Ray, thanks for watching, and keep blitzing. Yeah.